Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to send the GPS data to Google Sheets. This will be a quick way to get started if you don't have your own server. Once you have our device, uh, the Veltrack V4 uh, series devices and you have downloaded the firmware uh, from GitHub and uh, uh, now you want to see the data coming to the server. So what we do is, uh, let's open a Google Sheet uh, document. So I will open a new blank document. And just uh, name it uh, well track log sheet something once the google sheet is created uh, you need to uh, add some script to this sheet so that uh, the data coming in from the gps tracker is appended as a new row to this uh, sheet every time so for that uh, i have written a small script uh, let's open that Doc, go to docs.veletron.com go to veltrack before vts csp 32 c3 and uh, in the left menu you can see google sheet script so what you need to do is you need to uh, copy this code which i have written here uh, this script script what it does is it collects incoming uh, post requests HTTP post requests and uh, parses the data to append it as a row so it collects all the log ID device ID latitude longitude and different parameters and appends it to the uh, uh, to the excel sheet whichever you have opened here google sheet so now you just copy this code and uh, go to google sheet which you have created and go to extensions app script And then you just replace whatever is present in this document here okay once you do this you can click on save and uh, click on deploy new deployment now uh, you need to select the, from the settings here uh, enable deployment types uh, select the web app option and uh, here who has access you make it as anyone and you can write any description you want and just click on deploy now it will ask you for authorized access click on it and uh, select your google account so it uh, gives you a warning because the script is not verified by google so click on advanced and go to go to untitled project unsafe hello then it gives you url for the web app just click on copy and done so once you do this uh, go back to the sheet uh, and uh, let's first uh, test uh, some requests through fiddler so i will send a sample request through fiddler classic go to composer and here uh, make the request as post and paste your url of that uh, script and here in the body i have given a sample uh, uh, packet here you can copy this click on copy and uh, paste in the body section and click on execute so it will give you 302 and then 200 as a response and you can see that in the sheet uh, all the parameters have arrived now you cannot understand directly what all these parameters are so what i have done is uh, i have created is given a sample excel sheet here which is log.slxx open this and once you open it uh, copy the first row and paste it in the first row of this google sheet you can just delete whatever is there earlier and just uh, click on row one and paste it so you will get all this so what happens is after this the script will keep appending to the from the second row so uh, even if you even if the limit of this whole sheet is reached uh, you can delete everything and uh, uh, you know leave the first row uh, as it is instead of uh, 
erasing everything so you can just uh, do control a and select row one and then delete everything when you want to reset the whole sheet to the starting point so after this uh, you can uh, uh, try again now click on execute so the data will come here so this is the device id latitude longitude and the time from the device and this is the server time server time is actually uh, written by uh, given by the script itself we are uh, getting the date of the server from the google server and uh, here you can uh, see the event type which is which can be reboot which can be reboot or gping or something like that then there are other parameters like speed vbat is for internal battery for v for mf devices and vm bat is for the main battery uh, which is a 12 volt battery for vts devices p int is ping interval and then i have added a uh, direct uh, link here so what what this script is doing here is uh, taking the lat and long go values whichever are present here uh, whichever is coming in the packet and uh, creating a map link out of it so if you click on this link uh, uh, it will take you to google maps where you can see that particular location where that coordinate is okay and now uh, the other things here are network latitude network longitude network signal strength and then location type so these are uh, coming from the clbs uh, uh, command from the simco modules so this is not uh, you, you don't depend on this this can be available sometimes or uh, depending on the simcom server uh, so this is coach number and everything these are just extra parameters which in some of our devices some applications use it so if you want you can send any data in this value fields if you want this is just the name of the device at the end uh, i just appended it in the script you can change it to whatever name of the device you want okay and here on the now let's try sending again so if you just click on uh, uh, execute and uh, you can see all the data coming in here uh, now I will just uh, delete everything whatever is there uh, I will uh, then go to my code okay uh, now I need to power on my device and put the sim card and uh, uh, now we will uh, test the data transmission from the device to the server to the google sheets now let's try to push the data from the device to google sheets so once uh, you reach this stage you go to your code and find this default parameters array and uh, replace this http url field with this uh, script uh, url then click on build then click on flash then click on terminal monitor device now you can see that all the data is coming from the device to google sheets you will get the proper device time only when the gps uh, sync is available it will give the gps time in this in this field and the lat and long will be the actual values hope this will be helpful for you guys uh, thank you for watching